My name is Dr. Andre Ignacio. I'm actually a chiropractor here at InTouch Clinic and I've been running the gallery for the last eight months or so um, with the help of our senior curator, uh, Francis Stafford. And about a year ago I was playing around with an idea that I had for a piece of art and Francis saw it and said, oh my god, that's amazing, keep going. So it sort of snowballed into this monster and became my own exhibits. It's abstract collage. Um, technically it's decoupage, I'm told, because it's glue paper with glue on top. I think collage is just glue and paper. Um, decoupage is sort of um, a kind of antiquated, you know, they used to decoupage tables and furniture and and it's sort of something that people are doing more now. And I learned it from my late sister who used to decoupage trash cans and shoes and, you know, so I learned how to do this. And it's the only thing I really knew how to do. Well, my mother was an art teacher before she was married and there's six kids and the other ones are all very artistic. They can all draw and cartoon and my brother can build amazing things out of Legos. And I was never that person. I, I never knew how to draw. I couldn't sketch. I never tried. I read and read and read and read and read. But I have ideas. I have images in my head. And it's only been in the last years um, that I've sort of tried to make. Like when, I'm, when I have an idea, I actually go into the store and I buy the supplies and I try to make what I'm thinking about. And I, for some reason, I never did that when I was younger. So it's very new and kind of, for me, it's very surprising. And I love color. I love saturated, obviously saturated, juicy color, just for the color that it is. And I had all these magazines, I had all these swipe files of papers that I had saved, pictures that I liked, and I just thought, you know, I could categorize them. You know, in my head I put things in lists. I make lists and I organize and I put things in order of light to dark, and it's this sort of simplistic, meditative kind of thing that I've been doing that makes me feel really good because it's, it's something I have control of. Um, and, you know, I really call it just assembly because I have all the papers. I have a big bucket of orange papers and I lay them out light to dark and I just start putting them together. I really don't think I want this to look like a star or a pickle or whatever. It just becomes whatever the images want to be. It's all paper um, and everything, you know, there's some things that are just color. So you have a page with words, and I like the color in the outline, so I cut that outline out. Or a, a lamp, or a basket, or a pair of shoes. Um, if it's an item like that, I will actually cut around the item. If it's just a swath of color, like a, a wall, I cut the whole thing, and I use it as is. I don't, I don't change them once I've cut them out of the magazine. So the, I let the art kind of become what it wanted to be on its own. I'm hoping people might be interested in commissions. I, I've had one restaurant owner in Bahrain tell me that he'd be interested in having an entire wall in the colors that he likes, so I've sort of been saving. Um, that will take a lot of time and a lot of magazines. I don't have nearly enough to do it, but it's an easy color scheme, so if he's still interested, you know, hopefully we can still do that. Um, but at this point, now that the exhibit is ready, for me it will just be doing pieces as I'm inspired. Um, or as people request and then we'll see where it goes.